Hi, Foothill Church. My name is Haley Thomas, and I wanted to share with you an encouragement from Psalm 31 today. So this psalm is all about seeking refuge in the Lord during times of hardship and suffering. Um, but I wanted to share the, few, the last few verses of this psalm. So this is Psalm 31, 21 through 24. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was in a besieged city. I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight. But you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. When I first read this psalm, I was really struck by this image of the besieged city um, because it feels like we're in this besieged city at some times with sin, our own sin and other sin all around us, um, death and suffering. It can feel like we're under attack. Um, but I love how the psalmist says that during this time that we're in this besieged city, God still shows us his steadfast love and not just shows, but it's wondrously shown. Um, his love is not lessened in this besieged city. If anything, it's magnified. Um, we can count on his love even more when we're in these times of, of hardship with sin and death all around us. Um, but the psalmist continues though and says, you know, even when God is showing us his love, we can still doubt and still have fear. Um, we still fear. And, and the psalmist says, I said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight. Um, so even though God's love is wondrous and with us, we still doubt. We still fear. Um, and despite that, though, God still draws near to us and hears our cries for mercy. Um, he doesn't leave us there. Even when we are being sinful and, and doubting him, he comes towards us. He listens to us and leans into us. Um, he hears our cries and our pleas for mercy, even when we, in alarm, think he's far away. And that's why we can really end this psalm with this kind of adage to say, be strong and let your heart take courage. Um, when we can say that's because all of this really depends on God, not us. Um, we doubt, but God is still present listening to our cries. Um, we are imperfect. We are in sinful, but he still is there listening to our cries for mercy and still giving us his wondrous love, even when we're undeserving or thinking it's not there. It's not dependent on us. And that is really great news. Um, so today we can truly be strong and let our hearts take courage. All of us who wait on the Lord, because it's all dependent on who he is and not on us. Have a great rest of your day, guys.